Yeah. I'm smoking purple out the rain. I'm smoking purple out the rainbow. 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 Yeah, he was in the like bag. Five years ago on this shit. I'm smoking purple in the room yeah. just recording. Yeah. Was a douche. Yeah. Smoking purple out like the rainbow, yo. Yeah. Got the gold on my neck, I'm like her angle. Picture perfect read different angles. Yo, in the top is what I aim for. Yo, in big rock, that's what I came for. My brother Joe up in the cut and he a damn fool. I guarantee he in it, bitch won't bust a damn move. I'm talking by you, you won't bust a damn move. You got a lot to prove, my niggas got a lot to lose. Hey, Southside, full nation, bitch, I'm on it. Stay true to yourself, yeah, I can do it. Like Majin B. I came through wreck shop just like Majin B. Fulfilling prophecy. I'm smoking purple out the rainbow. You volcanic baby. Smoking purple out the rainbow. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the fifth episode of Forecast. Today is a very special episode. We got my brother Migo from Savage at Peace in the building. Let's go. Let's go. The reason that this is a very important episode is uh, Migo is an investor in Forecast. Uh, sure. Migo pushed me, one, I had the idea of doing a podcast um, some time ago, and it just kind of seeped away from me, and Migo was like, I, I want to do a podcast. I know Big C wanted to do one, so he reached out to me and asked me if I still wanted to, and for me... I like to do shit with people. That's something I learned through therapy. I don't like to do things on my own. So when somebody else is like incentivizing or it feels like an incentive to me, it makes me want to jump on board more. So that just got me to the point where I, I was ready to do it. I found what I needed, but I wasn't, uh, I wasn't ready to invest the amount that all this equipment cost. And Migo was like, yeah, fuck that shit, bro. Like how much is it? I'll go have. Yes, sir. That's now it. we're here. That's this episode. It. That's it. So we bought the equipment, and then I got going. And as y'all see now, we on we on episode five. Yeah, my dog been killing it. No cap, I'm mad proud of him. He's I been he's been doing it. his thing on this shit. I knew he was gonna do good on this shit. Getting a lot of feedback from it. You been doing your thing, dog. G shit. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. It's definitely going way better, like than I thought it was. Uh, especially, I feel like for me. I'm I'm doing this one man. Like I'm editing everything. Mm -hmm. I'm filming everything today. Is also another special episode. We got Bluff God in the building. Bluff God is going to be assisting me throughout this podcast. Um, as far as watching the camera, y'all know the camera likes to overheat. So that message comes up before it shuts off. So we'll know so we don't get rudely interrupted. And he's also going to be helped taking down some notes for content. So shout out to Bluff God. Make sure y'all give him a follow. Uh, he also makes beats. Um, he's uh, into social media creation. So... Y'all tap in with him. I'm going to drop his uh his at right here down at the bottom. Y'all know how we do because cause we growing every episode. We learning how to do better things and, you know, learning how to edit better. But, man, how, how are you doing, Migo? I'm good, man. I'm good. Just thankful to be out here. Blessed to be another year grinding. Just trying to build the business a little better every year. You know what I'm saying? Critique it. Work on something. For now, I've been learning how to uh, hand sew. So each year I try to, like, dive into something. Purely for like 12 months, focus on that. Next year, I kind of like master it in those 12 months, dive into something else. And right now, I'm trying to dive into hand sewing. Okay. So you're saying like style-wise, like the type of like uh, how you create it. So like you've done tie-dyeing. Yeah. And then right. now it's hand sewing. And then, right. um, I've done um, cut and sew. That was what I was first doing like four or five years ago. And then I did tie-dye. And then I'm just basically trying to get on this right now. Could you explain... Not just to the people, but to me as well. What is cut and sew? <clears throat> so there's a lot of things that come with cut and sew. Um, you could do like 
pants, jeans, uh, jackets. Like, for instance, this flannel that I'm wearing. Um, I went thrifting. I got, like, eight different ones and just cut them down. So you, you just basically cut it yourself. So I cut three ways on this way, three ways here. I kept the uh, middle of, like, my solid base. And then I just went around. Um, so basically, you cut everything, and then you have to sew everything right back up. And sometimes the bottom, like this one was good. It came all the way, like, even. But some are short, some are high, some are, like, longer, some are wider. So you got to, like, play with that and shit like that. But Okay, so, like, the Harleys with the flannel on the edge, yeah, that's, that's also cut and so cut, cut, cut and so, Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I hear you say it all the time, and I don't know, I just never... I never thought until right now. I like yeah. to know what, I, what what we're talking about, so right. I really, really like tune in, and I'm like, damn, I never knew what cut and sew was. Okay, so hand sewn is when you do everything by hand, but cut yeah. and sew, you're using a machine? No, nah, cut and sew, I usually, um, I, I get this whole, like, blade, and I cut it straight down, and um, I forget what the damn tool is called, but there's so much ways about it, but hand sewing is just, like, you literally probably cut it, like, by hand with, like, oh, some scissors, probably, because it's so much smaller. Right, so it could be more rugged blade. too, yeah. Instead of like a clean, because this has to be cut. crispy, you know. What I'm right, saying? because you're making it one whole yeah, piece. Right, I got. So you, with these, you could go like any other way you want. You know what I'm trying to say? So that boy. So for this one right here, you took the Carhartt logo off, yeah, okay. and then put it back on. Put it back on, yeah, right. right. So this one right here got it got the Louis on it. it got yeah, some authentic yeah. Louis. What yeah. is this from? Like a purse or a wallet? Yeah, like a whole bag. A bag? Okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Hell yeah, yeah hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, bro. I seen a couple of these last night when I had uh, slid over and yeah. linked up with you, but I ain't see them all. Yeah. Oh, I really like slide. this one. Hold on. Ooh! That one tough. <laughs> yeah, I like that, that, mint, that mint color. Yeah, that, that shit mint just, green color. That shit go crazy. dummy. It's like a seafoam almost, too. It's like, oh, yeah, know. exactly. It's like a weird color. But it go crazy. Okay, okay. All right. Are these for sale right now? Or? Yeah. Okay. Basically, yeah. I made them a little late because I got the vision a little late. But um, it's cool. Like, they could just sit. They sell throughout, like, basically New York, Boston, the quarter areas. Yeah. I'm trying to say. But obviously, we live in Florida. Ain't no Florida, Florida people going to wear them right now. It's getting hot out again. So Shit. You never know. Next week, it could be cold again. You, yeah. you never know. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Uh, so, these on the website? Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to um, shoot them tomorrow, actually, okay. and then um, probably throw them on the website by next week just to have them on there and then make a big batch for, like, next year. So these are, like, samples that I just try to run, see how, like, it came out. Right. The vision came out pretty good, so I'm going to start running them. Yeah, and for you, I, I noticed, like, whenever you start something, you just get better as it going because, mm -hmm. like, you, you like to develop. Right. As you go. So I know, event, like, this shit going to go crazy just like right. with the Jags hats. Right. Slowly, like, them bitches started going, yeah. like, damn, this shit looked like it came out of Fanatics. Right, like, right, Like, right. it's a legit now it's company like, spent millions of dollars yeah, doing research right. to properly put it out type yeah. shit. Yeah, so I'm excited to see where that goes. Because, like, your tie-dye work, bro, like, you done came. You got a thing with the dye for real because you've always done that with the uh, with the shoes, too. Right, right, right. Um, And my favorite thing is... You use the fucking the bottom bitch of dye. Yeah, you right. use the regular shit that people like clown. Right, on right, or whatever. right. Apparently, the rates all like bullshit. Yeah, and shit like that people who know how to tie dye be like, man, that's just like weak tie dye. There's so much better dye. But I'm like, shit, I go crazy with that dye, so I really don't give a fuck. Hey, hey, shout out to Ritz, man. Shout out, it's Ritz, right? Yeah, Ritz, R I T. Or I R I T E, oh. one of them bitches, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think it's R I T. Hey, you know I'm thinking about the crackers, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cracker <laughs> color wool. No, no. But them boys need to follow me and fucking. Obviously, I got a new page, so they need to follow my new page and then sponsor a motherfucker. To be honest, bro, because it's a lot of money just spending on this tie dye shit. You know what I'm saying? After a while, I'm like, bro, I've been doing it for like five years. That boy just told me that shit. I yeah. know I go crazy with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, for yeah. sure, for sure. I think. Uh, I think that's something that you you could possibly probably like just set up with them for real for real. Mm -hmm. You just like reached out. And no, them boys definitely. I've already like DM them. They DM me back and shit like that. They like my content, but we just trying to get like the further stuff. Uh, you know what I'm trying to yeah. say, yeah, so, they're just waiting on the right time type yeah. shit. Yeah. Them um them new ones you got going. When um when are you dropping the new tie dye collection? Um, probably doing something for like the spring and summer. Okay. Cause I mean, a lot of people like wearing it 
during the summertime it pops out and stuff yeah. like that. So I probably got something good coming for the summertime. Okay. It's kind of unfair because I've seen I've seen what's in the works. You know yeah, yeah, So like yeah. I'm talking I, I'm talking about it because I seen it last night right. and shit was real fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, let's let's get back into the roots. What um, how long did you want to design clothes before you actually started doing it? So honestly, I was doing vintage for like a year, year and a half because I knew I wanted to sell clothing in general. And I didn't, and I knew I wanted to have a brand, but I just didn't know, know like which lane was I was trying to choose. And I'm trying to say, so I was just selling a lot of vintage and seeing what other brands was doing back in the day, colors they would use, and not like mimic, but like mimic them at times. I'm trying to say, just make it like 2023 style. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so at first I was doing vintage, and then I started getting a little feel for what I wanted to do, and then I just dove right in, and then just named it Savage at Peace. And my first tee was the bones tee, you know what I'm saying? Because I had to, like, kill my old self and then just reborn myself. So that's about it, really, like, just doing vintage and then finally got my own vision for it. You know what I'm trying to say? Just, like, I don't know, just one day it just clicked for me. And what does, I mean, it It kind of says it in the name, but what is, to you, what does Savage at Peace mean? Shit, I mean, honestly, it means a lot. So... I feel like a lot of people in Jacksonville in general, Florida in general, just like are savages out here. We're just born with savage mentality. You know what I'm saying? We just got to like get by and it's just like we do anything just to like make ends meet and shit like that at times. You know what I'm saying? And I was just kind of like tired of living the way I was living. You know what I'm saying? So I needed like peace in my life. So I was just, I just went back to what like I just learned to love over time. You know what I'm I've been dressing since I was like, since I was little, little, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was buying my clothes. So I was, like, in sixth grade, seventh grade. Like, so I just, like, yo, I always had a dope sense of fashion. So I was, like, man, let me just dive fully into that shit. I've always wanted to have a brand. And, like, in high school, I thought, of like, yo, it would be cool to make a brand. And I just, like, could, like, clearly just went away from it. And then just started selling dope, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? And then just came back fully on it. I was, like, yo, if I put all my brain power into that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, anything I do honestly do it good you know what i'm saying so i just fully dove straight into that shit and i found my piece into clothing and it just kept going in stronger and stronger and stronger i just kept going into like deeper and deeper and deeper you know what i'm saying my brain kept, just kept thinking of new ways to create shit obviously with mad prayer that came with that and it's been like five years that i've been pushing this brand and it's been going like very successful i feel like what was the first piece of merchandise you made and you was like yeah i don't need to focus on anything else in my life i need to focus on this like what was the first piece where you was like uh, i'm in my bag and this is just the beginning so honestly um me and me and my cousin david outlandish we, we, we could tag him once once we get all that done but um so we just started doing like Shoes like in maybe 2015, 2016, and he was hand knitting shoes. You know what I'm saying, and we kind of got I got away from it, and and then we just started like making some ones. One day I just ordered some ones, and I was like, "Yo, let's let's hit these." You know what I'm trying to say, and we hit the first pair. You know what I'm saying, and I honestly sold them to Reese Flair. And Reese LaFair showed him a thug. I guess it was, like, right next to each other. And he was like, yo, thug wants a pair in a size 9. And I knew them bitches snap. You know what I'm saying? But, like, once that shit happened, we were like, yo, we got some, like, fire-ass shit. Like, no cap. You know what I'm saying? Like, so once we made the shoes, we went we went to them boys. That shit honestly, like, blew up in the city. You know what I'm trying to say? I feel like because no one in the city's really, like, got, got up to them boys or just, like, met them or just had a meeting, got some work to them and stuff like that. And... I mean, once you see the art, and I'm trying to say, like, on the shoe, that shit just goes crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, shit, nah, like, we honestly got some shit to cook here. You know what I'm saying? So we just yeah. kept diving into that shit. Yeah. I say I say when somebody like the caliber of Thug has access to pretty much anything he wants in the fashion world, and he wants something you made, mm -hmm. you definitely in your bag. Because right. like, he can get right. whatever he wants. Or, right. And not just him. I mean, anybody that's, like, class A rappers, Lil Baby, Young Thug. Right. Right. I was about to say somebody we can't say no more. Um, besides that, besides that, um, how did that feel when you were like in the room 
and I mean, I feel like I'd I'd be nervous meeting somebody who like is a staple in because he's big in fashion and in music, right. and like you really you really into rap music and right. fashion. So like, right. how did that feel? Just being in a room with bro, because I'm sure he wasn't like like uh, I'm sure I wasn't hanging hanging. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, homie was cool as fuck. Um, it would just felt like. Different, you know what I'm trying to say? Because obviously you see Cuz on music videos all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like he's done like run, like real fashion runaways in like London and all that shit for like real big brands and all that shit. So just to like be in the same because we, we we actually put up to a studio. So I pull up to in the, to his studio and it was him and Gunner and a, and a few other people in that bitch. And this is like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like a nigga work got here. You know what I'm saying? Because I would never met this fool like any other way. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. Just purely off of art. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. It was just mad crazy. You know what I'm saying? Then, like, Gunner was there, and he was like, yo, what's up with my pair? So then we had to, like, double back, you know what yeah. I'm saying, a month later and drop off uh, Gunner shit. You know what I'm saying? Then Gunner wanted more shit. You know what I'm saying? Then, I don't know. It was just crazy as fuck just to be, like, I don't know. It just seemed like they normal-ass people at the end of the day as well. You know what I'm saying? But Because they are. Right, but they had, but for the longest you you like see him, you glorify him and shit like that. But yeah. then once you talking to him, vibe with him, like yo, this shit crazy for real. For real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I feel like not that much people in the city have really gotten that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like yo, I'm blessed. I feel like just to even be here. You know what I'm saying? And bring my team who I brought with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I just ain't want to go dolo and be all me. You know what I'm saying? It's like I got a big ass group inside Foresight. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There's a yeah, lot of no. people that do work. Shout out! What uh, didn't AP AP went with you? No, the first oh, time it okay. was me and David and uh, Ray. Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Ray, man. Shout out to Ray Carpio, man. Yeah, that's a, that's my OG. little bro, man. I ain't yeah, saying I ain't seen Ray. Yeah, he the OG, yeah, but he he, he younger than both of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that man, that, that man got it up here, man. Yeah, bro. Ray fires, fuck. So Spire. I personally don't really know who Reese is. No disrespect to Reese, you know what I'm saying? But I yeah. don't. I ain't really know who he is. So how did you get in contact with him? Did you already know him? So yeah. So to to uh 2019. <clears throat> I went to uh, Art Basel, and that was my first Art Basel, and um, it was me, AP, um, David, Ray. We all stayed at Nico Crib and shit like that. She got a nice Airbnb and shit like that. Um, and we are just mobbing the streets and shit, you know what I'm saying? We, and I've seen Reese outside of a, a Adidas uh, event. So I was like, yo, Reese, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? Like, I've been, like, a big fan since I was, like, Little and shit like that. You know what I'm saying he skates and makes music, so he has a dope sense of fashion and shit. So it was cool. I got his number and shit. I was like, yo, I make clothing and shit. Let me just reach out. You know what I'm saying. And then like a year later is when when we made the shoe, and then I just reached out, like texted bro and and DM'd him. He just wrote me back like within a minute. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. See, that's crazy. A lot of the times, you already met who you He'll needed the to water. meet. Oh, you good, you good. You need to hydrate, oh, yeah. hell. What you were saying? Um, a lot of times you've already met who you need to meet. Mm -hmm. That's what's crazy. Like, you met bro a year ago, and then you just got to this point where you was like, damn, this shit fire. I need somebody, like, who right. who know how to wear it, like, right. to wear it type shit. Right. And then from that, went to Thug, went to Gunna. Yeah. Like, so that one person, that one, just because you chose to go to Art right. Basel that year. Right. Just, just because you chose, if you yeah. would have not went to Art Basel, None worked. of that shit might not have yeah, happened. Yeah, no. I, and the homie was cool. I seemed cool. We just linked, you know what I'm saying? It was cool vibes and shit. And then we just, boom. And then I seen him like years later and we was out in Coachella together. Topped it up. You know what I'm saying? We was always love every time I see him. So yeah. I was like, bet, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Had, having him is definitely clutch. Y'all was supposed to cross paths. Yeah. Because y'all cross paths at multiple times in like yeah. completely different places. Right, right. And and through text. That, no, that, that's dope, though. That's dope, yeah. though. I gotta listen to bro. I ain't, and like I said, I ain't never heard of bro. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I literally you po you tagged him, and that's the only the only instance. I Yeah, have. that nigga's gone. Grammys with like J Cole, um, Grammy nominees and shit like that. He's he's on a few albums. He's on uh, Trippy Reed shit. Like he he got a, he, he got a lot of songs out. He got songs with Thug and shit. On just sleep. That's that's like uh, what's it? You know, bro. Oh, okay, my bad. You know a lot more. You know a lot more people than I do. He said, it "Depends shit, on what." On That's true. The last yeah, yeah. time, last time we hung out, yeah, I definitely put you on to some shit. Um, 
you have done a fashion show. You've had a uh, shop within a shop when you were at the tattoo shop. Mm-hmm. You've had your own shop at the flea market. Yeah. What's been your favorite like business adventure when it comes to your clothing brand? I mean, you've done a lot of other events too. Right. right? Um. What was what was my favorite what again? Just event business like oh event like um, yeah like um. I guess I see. hold on. That was the, the way I formed the question was kind of weird. Like basically, just what's been your favorite, uh, like landmark in your whole career? Is, has it been like having your own shop? Yeah, or throwing so, an event. Um, shit, I don't know if you went to my uh, force have a house party. I had like two thousand like Where everybody signed signed, 18, signed the board, yeah, signed the board mm-hmm. and shit like that. Yeah, that shit was hard as fuck. I feel like because I got an Airbnb. It was me and Keegan, actually, the dude who, like, owns, like, um, parts of Archives as well. Mm-hmm. So, me and him went got an Airbnb together, and I was like, yo, let me just deck it out each room. So, like, one room I had, like, an all-jack theme. Another room I had, like, a Nike theme. Um, the lobby, I had, like, a whole bunch of shoes around, around and shit like that. And then I just threw a big-ass party, and, like, yo, I can come shop as well and party. You know what I'm saying? That was mad years ago. That shit got shut down, like, four or five times until the cops Fully came with the owner and shit. We all had a dip and shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, Damn. that was some whole fun shit. You know what I'm saying? But like a real like cool, cool one was like when I finally opened up like my first shop at the fleet. You know what I'm saying? It was like, honestly, I never thought I would like do some shit by myself like that, like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? And then that shit went. You know what I'm saying? Like my whole vision came out and that shit ran and that shit was straight. But then like I got so much like dedicated to my art and shit. I didn't have no much time to like be at the damn store to be a hundred percent honest. You know what I'm saying? I was making a lot of money just not even being there no more too. So I was like, man, let me just shut down shop and just save the rent and put that rent money and just like into more clothes, make more shit. But probably like the shop was cool as fuck. Okay. We're going to jump back to the shop because I completely forgot about that party, bro. Bro, that was so long ago, bro. I completely ago, forgot. That was so long ago. It was in San Marco? Yeah, San yeah, Marco, bro. Yeah, I remember because I, I parked. That was hot. I parked on, like, the street street yeah. instead of, like, the neighborhood street. I was right. on the main street. So when the police came, I was out. You was clean. I ain't had to fight nobody to leave. Like, I was fucking out, yeah, bro. No, but, that, shit um, was, that shit was crazy. That's yeah. where I got that Raven shirt from you. The yeah, tie, The purple tie-dye, tie-dye yeah. Raven shirt. Listen. I was faded that night, bro. I've seen that shirt shirt more than I've seen any of your merch because my girl wears that shit Bruh. like three times a week. It's one of like, the hardest tees like that shit is dummy. Ever, big dummy. It's crazy, bro, because that was the uh, I don't know, that was like you said, that was like five years I mean, ago, yeah, bro. Yeah, like yeah. that shit was so long right. ago, bro. It was before COVID. So it was probably like yeah. at least four yeah. years ago, bro. Hell you know yeah. Saying? That shit yeah. was Damn, and then as you started describing, I had the room like this. I was like, oh, oh, and then we was on a back that. porch, and yeah. Naps, Naps had food out there. Yeah, Naps had food out there, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we was, was outside fun, when bro. the police had came. I was outside yeah, when the police came. We had came. a keg in the back. Uh, I was, was, the problem was, niggas was smoking up front, out, out back, inside. No, big dog, it was big like dog. everywhere after a while. I was just it was like, a damn, block party, bro. bro. Yeah, out like, front, it was yeah, a block party, bro. Right. It wasn't like that when I got there, though. Yeah, It was like just over time, like more people came and... Yeah, word got out, and then, like, all the neighbors was, you know what I'm saying, calling to where. Oh, like, San Marco's called historic <laughs> San Marco, bro. That means the like, people. Yo, get y'all ass out of here, bro. The people that live out there mostly yeah. are historic. They old, bro. Like, they ain't <laughs> yeah. not trying to hear none of that shit, bro. Right. To the shop. All right. I thought it was crazy how you went. From a basic as flea market stall, like when you if you go to the flea market and you like, hey, I want to get a booth. That shit is wood and concrete. Yeah, like nah. it ain't no, it don't look pretty. Is 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 nothing, bro. And this man Migo really got the turf on the ground painted. And when we say painted, not just like a solid color. Yeah, he everything had was like, like graphics right, painted on hard. the wall. That um, shit was hard. Honestly, sometimes I'll be like, damn, I missed that bitch. But I was like, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you learn, you you outgrow things at times. So I honestly feel like I outgrew that spot. You know what I'm saying? It was good when it was, like, running. But then after a while, I was just like, bro, I want to do something else. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I was just like, let me just close this shit do something else. I feel like if you were still heavy leaning on vintage, 
maybe mm-hmm. it would have made more sense. Mm-hmm. But since you're doing your own designs and stuff, because right. I would notice when people would stop by, like on a regular day, not like during like an event or whatever, but just on a whatever day when I just mm-hmm. pull up, they're stopping and looking at the Jaguar stuff first. Yeah. Like that's kind of like flea market vibes yeah, right. type that's shit. So you're wanting. Your so walking customers shit. aren't your ideal customers. Right. So for the amount of money that you're going to be spending on the rent, it doesn't exactly make sense because your target customer isn't there mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, because like honestly, I'd be selling like higher pieces. The flea people, they be trying to like spend cheap. To be honest, I'm like, bro, you don't even understand. Like, nigga, no one doing this shit inside yeah. the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. People looking for a bargain type yeah, shit. I'm yeah, I'm like, yeah, bro, yeah. I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? So I ran it up while I was in that bitch for like a like a year. And I was like, yo, let me get out of here. You know oh, yeah. I ran no. it up. Boom. Let's go do something else. So how did you um like how'd you learn how to like design? Um not as just in, in the clothing, bro, like just in your mind in general, because I've I watch you design clothing from graphics that are printed yeah. onto stuff to hand sewing to yeah. cut and sew to designing the shop and like yeah. setting up your photo shoots yeah, and all that, bro. Um, like Honestly, it just be like, God, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? He just be giving me a vision a lot. And honestly, I pray for, like, yo, let me get my vision clear. You know what I'm saying? Let me keep getting my vision clear because, like, like, you can't get it until you see it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if I see my vision a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, keep seeing that shit in my dreams and shit. Like, I know what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? So, honestly, just, like, bro, I have to thank God for, like, Half majority of all this shit, you know what I'm saying? I've been in some dark places. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I didn't have a life the way I lived like now. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, shit up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thankful to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, to really just God. Yeah, I'm not the I'm not the most religious. I believe God to just be a higher power. I don't mm-hmm. know what that is. Right. Which nobody does. Well, exactly. So whatever you believe in, it was like I know like. God, the universe, whatever you want right. to say it is, you know what I'm saying? That but that motherfucker be on my side and I'll be doing good, so I I get good back. Right, right. So I, I've been reading uh do you know who Rick Rubin is? Yeah. Okay, so I've been reading his book. Um, I think it's called The Creator's Code, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. But one of the first things in there, which I've heard this theory before though, is that ideas don't come from within you. They come from outside of you. Mm-hmm. And if you don't use them, then they go to somebody else. It's not somebody stealing mm. your idea. Like if you right. didn't do it. So like that's nah, a cool that's, that's smart. That's a well, cool I theory. I feel like, like that. yeah, yeah, bro. I feel like that the world different. could work like that for real. Because I know, like for me, I, bro, this is the craziest one. Me and my bro JD in high school, we were gonna make dessert flavored gum, mm-hmm. and we tried one time, <laughs> and that shit like came out trash, trash. and we just gave up. Yeah. Six months, maybe a year Some later. Walk in there and what's the uh, extra strawberry shortcake, chocolate mint, the two flavors yeah, we thought yeah we, hot yeah hot exactly and Could that have came up bro. So when I when I heard that theory, I was like, bro, that resonates with me. Yeah, for sure. And that's, and that's that a, shit left my brain, and then went another nigga brain, and he just ran with it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying which is cool though. Like you, but God or the universe gives you that at times. You know what I'm saying like. I got to fuck with these niggas cuz they loose lips bad bitch and she look like loose loose coach lips red yellow bone pretty pink prince on a minute i don't know what these niggas on i been trapping for a minute i been watching all these niggas telling just the dust and sense nigga they be pussy need repellent nigga real mosquitoes i'm up in this bitch i'm with it ho treat it like he eat and you know i'm riding in that bitch and i got the heat nigga say be right so i'm fly all right so how long has it been since you been doing this podcast now since I've been filming, the first episode was Keone. I want to say that was about a month ago. Oh, yeah. And you, you feel like you've grown in that month? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Compared to anything else I've done, like with the music and the videos, um, this has been the fastest growth I've had. I feel like every episode I've incorporated something to get better. The first episode, whenever I was making reels, I wasn't putting it in like real format to where the whole screen is taken up. Mm. It was like black bars at the top and bottom with the whole video in the center. Right. So that was the the first step of growth was in the second episode. I had started doing the reels in that form. And then once we got to the third episode, then I incorporated the people's names at the bottom. Right. That shit nice. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, on the fourth episode... 
the growth would be the mistake, which was having the um, microphone blocking his face. face yeah. um, but that's okay. And that's what I'm trying to get to. Like I was telling you yesterday, I get a little overwhelmed in my head mm-hmm. whenever I make a mistake or something's not perfect. And that that's pretty much why most of my art has never made it out onto the scene because it's not perfect to me. So I don't want to put it out. Um, but yeah, I, I think yeah. it's going great. I think it's going better than I could have expected. And most people are telling me the same thing that they're impressed with how natural it seems. Right. Like I should have been doing this right. type deal. Right. That's all I was tell, telling you too. Like, cause I know you were trying to have me up in this bitch. First one, second one, it was like, bro, just run that bitch, bro. I know you, you're going to do good. And you was like, oh, bad, bro, say less. You and know once saying? we like, had that conversation, it yeah, was like, all right, psh, boom, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see, it's like, bro, this shit is exactly what people envisioned. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that shit. That, and then, like you said, each episode, you keep getting better and better. And we seeing it, too. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that shit is fire. Yeah. I will say, um, everybody keeps asking, like, when are you going to have me on and stuff like that? Number one, the the people that I'm going to want to have on uh, sooner than later is going to be people who are showing support. And that's not me trying to, like, make you show support. Yeah. But there's a lot of people that comment on every video, share every video, um, versus some people, all they do is that's all I got as far as, like, a notification from you from is engagement. you commenting, yeah. when can I get on? And it's like, damn, bro, like. Fuck with my shit first. Yeah, act, or at least act like you fuck with my shit. Yeah, you know and like, listen, damn. I'll still have y'all on in the future. But right. right now, I'm working with limited time, and I, I've got a list of like 40 people that yeah. I want to do. Right. So like, <clears throat> if you want to come on here, support. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be throwing a a, a show soon. I'll have an announcement for that. Come yep. out to the show. Let's talk. Let me see why I want to have a conversation with you. Because at the end of the day, I gotta sit at this table. And sit here and listen to what you want to talk about. Right. And if maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I'd rather utilize my time in a better manner. And that's no disrespect. But like I'm I'm more so looking for people who have stuff in motion. Like so far everybody I, I've had on, they you know what I'm saying, they grinding. I don't want somebody who ain't even put out a, a mixtape yet, but they they a rapper. Yeah, right. Like you you ain't doing nothing like yeah. that's all. So like please, please stop begging to be on the podcast. That's good though. You know what I'm saying? The boys really want to be on this bitch. They they see the bitch finna boom. You know what I'm saying? Like You right. They they see it's finna grow. You know what I'm saying? They see it's a good one. You right. I might you know need to saying? have I might need to have it in a in a fashion in which people can pay. Yeah. To to, that's, to that, get on that's here. That's for sure off tops. Yeah. I think that would be a, a wise way to go because then I at least already off top get Something beneficial mm-hmm. for sitting both. down and, yeah, both and people. doing that with you. Because, I mean, this is your time that you got to give someone. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. 100%. So if someone who you don't know wants to get on this whole podcast, have a whole episode, yeah, you promote them, put them on. Because obviously there's a lot of people that follow you and they're going to continue to follow you. So, yeah, they, they definitely they got to be both ways. Right, right. So yeah, man, just just y'all keep showing support, man. I really, I really, really appreciate it. I feel like this is uh being more impactful in the beginning than I ever could have thought. I thought it was gonna take me like uh, 25, 30 episodes before I started like affecting people. I feel like a lot of the things that we're talking about and uh discussions that are had are very relevant to people right now. Like I'm talking to people who have kids and at this age, everybody got kids. Yeah. So I feel like it's, it's not just about what people do, but who the people are and how they are impactful in our community. Like for real, for real. No, uh, that's, that's on G for real. Yeah. But, um, so what, uh, what's your, your favorite, Jaguars thing that you've done because you got the hats. That's what most people know you for is the hats. Yeah, because you 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 went crazy with that and shit. Honestly, this one here that I'm wearing, um, honestly, on this one I did a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I had uh, I had like put it like right here. I had this whole like '93 Jag logo and I I cut it up. To it later. My my bad. Go ahead. No, you good. Um, I got this embroidered. Obviously, the logo was embroidered. 
know what I'm saying I got a butterfly Put it up top I got the homie who um Hand stitched that Before I even knew how My cousin had did like The work around my logo Around the Jag logo Added these On front And I got some dude An airbrush Some stars So honestly like I got a lot of people Inside the city that You know what I'm saying um, Went ham, ham on this work You know what I'm saying Like Simply Stitch is another person inside the city who did my logo and shit. This claw, my other logo here, the little foresight with the football. But, I mean, I only made, like, probably, like, 12, 15 of these, you know what I'm saying? So, it was a vintage hat that I got off the homie, and then um, just went crazy, you know what I'm saying? I always wanted to make a crazy hat, so I'm glad I made this motherfucker. Yeah. My, my favorite part is the Jaguar snapped in half with the football in the middle. Like yeah. that, that, that shit, that shit go crazy. That shit go crazy. When I had first seen you was uh, making them, that that's what stood out to me because I seen that yeah. bit before. That bit it was had like anything. twenty twenty percent yeah. done when I seen it, bro. Right. Like you seen when it had like nothing on that one. Yeah, moment. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um. Oh, let me see that, man. So the cave, the caveman. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I was gonna call it. I, <laughs> yeah, it's basically a caveman head. You know so, what, what was the inspiration behind that? Why a caveman? Um, I mean, I mean, that's just like a savage. To be honest, the motherfucker don't think, I and mean, he just does shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, honestly, like, we was all savages at one at one point. You know what I'm saying? Like our, our our ancestors was all cavemen at one point. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, and a lot of people would be saying the like Bape logo when I first came out with it, and honestly, and um. And to me, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Shit, if my shit look like baby, then that, that's fucking cool. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, my shit gonna hit. It's finna, it's finna, finna last. It's finna stay. So, I mean, it, it, it's a good logo. So, how many designs, if you had to put a number on it, how many designs have you put out? Like, not including, like, um, cut and sews and stuff like that. Yeah, but just, like, like, graphics and shit. Yeah, like, graphic um, tees. Like, how many different yeah. designs do you think you've um, uh, released? Probably, like, at least... Probably like a close like to like thirty, you know. I think you know what I'm saying. Um, in my beginning, like first two three years, I was just making a whole bunch of shit. You know yeah. I was trying to make shit almost like monthly, almost even weekly. You know what I'm saying? Um, just to like give out at times, tell the homies yo put this shit on, just so I can personally have some new shit I'm always wearing. You know what I'm saying? Promoting it myself. But um, over over that time, I just like kind of like stopped making so much tees. Cause I like making like more pieces than anything. You know what I'm saying? So. I want to make something that lasts forever, forever. You know what I'm saying? Because a t-shirt is hard. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? You can wear that bitch for like a long time. But I'd rather wear something like, something like this. going to be hard for like a long ass time. You know what I'm saying? Like a shoe, that bitch going to last. You know what I'm saying? A tee, you could wear that bitch every now and then. You could toss it or give it to a homie. You know what I'm saying? But right. if you make a hard ass shoe, he going to want that bitch forever, forever. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And wear it maybe like three, four times a year because it's something hard as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or if you want to beat her, you could beat her. You know what I'm saying? Which you wear it all the damn time. Yeah. But. Like, I'd rather make some shit like this, like, some, like my hat that I'm wearing, some beanies, you know what I'm saying? Like, something that's, like, motherfuckers ain't doing, because a lot of people could just print a t-shirt. Yeah, you know yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I like, uh, like you were saying with the shoe, also, like, this shirt right here, like, this, yeah, was, this, a, this was a print, yeah, but this a one-on-one, one. like, this yeah. was hand-distressed, yeah. so, like, I feel like the... That won't go even crazy. It feels you know special. Yeah. Like, it just feels special, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody else has this, even if... They were to recreate this, or even you recreated this. Yeah. You you wouldn't get it exactly how yeah. this one right, is. That should so go crazy. It make I don't know. It made me feel special because, like I always tell you, bro, I'm not big into fashion, mm-hmm. and like I know I I have an okay dress code. <laughs> like I feel like the shit I put on is good, but I could put it together mm-hmm. better. Mm-hmm. And like when I have shit like this, or like I got David or uh, Outlandish making me those pants. Yeah. They done now. I'm finna pick them bitches up. Uh, I done miss my time. He said he got work today. I'm going to yeah. pick them bitches he'll, up tomorrow. Yeah, he'll probably come hey, through the crib. Hey, listen, listen. So that, and then I'm going to get the shoes. I'm going to get some shoes made by you. Yeah. And then shit, I'm probably going yeah, to get a top accessory. Yeah, you in there. And then I, I think I'm going to go down that lane. I was listening to, uh, you know, Tom Segura. Tom Segura. He's a he's a real big comedian. Oh, okay. Um, But he's got a big podcast. Like, he has a podcast studio. Nice. Danny Brown. Has okay. a podcast called The Danny Brown Show, okay. which is under your mom's house, which is Tom Segura and his wife, who's also a comedian. Oh, damn. But I was listening to him, and he said he took his clothes to a tailor mm-hmm. for them to fit 
the clothes he has already to him, and like it's not expensive. Like you're just hemming shit and like right. making the waist a little tighter, right? So everything fits you nice. Yeah. I'm thinking about doing that shit. Yeah, like, that, that that shit stands out. That yeah, shit, that shit stands out for sure. When you when you like wearing something that's like fit for you. Yeah, it's like damn, them bitches are like precise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all the way around. Oh yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get into the drip a little more. You feel good when you when you when look you look good and shit. Yeah, yeah, bro. Feel good, look good. Yeah, bro. Yeah. So what um what's the next drop other than this? What's the what's the next um that video that we we about to do uh-huh. that I told you about last night? Um, I probably got like three four new new uh, drops inside that video that I'm gonna release. Um, which will be some tees, some flannels, some hats. And then these beanies, but um, yeah, just just really that. And I'm saying it's really like four or five, three, four or five things. Right. But you're gonna release those collection by collection, not all. Um, at probably the same time. I'm gonna just probably hit them all at once. Like fuck it. You know what I'm okay. Saying? Yeah. 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 Shit. Might as well. Yeah. Might as well just <coughs> give people the option on which ones they want. Yeah, because I honestly like since my IG got wiped, I've been making a whole bunch of shit. And when I'm like my old IG, I would just post daily and sell shit daily. You know what I'm saying? But with this one. <clears throat> I've obviously like had to build it up. So like while I've been building it up, I just been making shit on the low, you know what I'm saying? Just so I could come out with a nice batch from my first. So after after the video it should be it should be pretty cool because it's my first drop of this year and then new page, all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh let's 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 rewind and talk about this though. So you had a big you had the hats made these hats up here, bluff. Yeah. That's in the frame, right? You don't don't move the camera, but it's in the frame. Yeah, slightly. slightly. Okay, y'all have seen me wear the hat. Y'all yeah, seen the goddamn know hat. It is. Y'all know what it is. Um, you had those like started before the season, right? Like they yeah, was in the process. Um, I honestly made that shit last year, not this football okay. season that just passed, but yeah. the one before that when I mean, then okay. they won one fucking game, right, that type right, shit. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I honestly made it then. And then um, I started making them, like, more. And then I added, like, the claw to that one. You know what I'm saying? The new one's got the new edition claw. The first one, it was just a jag with um, some hand, like, stitched stars on it and then the brand. But, um, but yeah, the first time it was last last year, so two years ago, really, this, this would be my third year with the product. Okay, so, so the creation was two years ago, right? Okay. It started gaining traction. Then this season, you know, we get Trevor Lawrence. Everybody's yeah. excited. Yeah. So this shit started going even harder. Yeah, shit started booming. But then we got good. Yeah. And, and then, then that's shit when was taking off, bro. Yeah. Like, motherfuckers is dropping hats. You linked up with uh, 904 Happy Hour. Yeah. All that happened. Right. And then we in the playoffs. Instagram. Yeah, bro. Cut off. Like yeah. what? What? Like why? Why do you do you have any idea? Like, so it was me and a couple people in the city. I feel like anybody who had good ass merch inside the, inside the city. You know what I'm saying I don't know if it was the NFL. Maybe it was the NFL or the Jaguars in general. But if you was making some good merch and you was making bread off of it, you know what I'm saying. Once they hit the playoffs, they really cut all that shit. You know what I'm saying. They were like the hottest team in, in the NFL, so. They were trying to make day the day ends. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. even though they millionaires, billionaires, but like y'all straight, we really ain't even. Making no money compared to y'all motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? But once they hit the playoffs, once they was on that streak, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they just wiped our shit. Like me, archives, um, and apparently like two, three other brands inside the city just got completely hit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's that's like I don't know, cause you see you see the Jaguars, um, they have a great shout out to the social media and marketing team for yeah, the Jaguars. They snap. Y'all they are snapping. Hard. I forgot bruh name. Devin. That's Devin. the black dude with glasses? No, that's not the black dude with glasses. That's the, the social media. He's the head of the social media. Yeah. I seen uh and they he, had and he he has a nice team and his team yeah, go crazy. For they Black History Month, they had did a special on him and then I looked on his page and stuff and like he be grinding and then shout out to Logan Bowles. He's an official yeah. photographer for the Jaguars. She at the Super Bowl and yeah, shit. Yeah, snap, bro. He shout got the Rihanna pictures of Rihanna. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shout out to him. But anyways, back to Yo. Jaguars. Y'all have a wonderful thing going. Y'all are incorporating, uh, I want to say, I believe, Nardo Wick for sure. Um, yeah, she was far. Y'all had they a had, couple others. with Seti in there. Seti, I think Chameleon. 
if I'm not mistaken. If not, it was Tokyo Jets. Yeah. Anyways, y'all are getting all this in. And you see local people, like, we're in Jacksonville, bro. We're from here. We support the team. And we're doing our thing. I think it would be a good look for y'all and the city to team up with these creators. Not to go after their social yeah. and cut them off. Let's team up. And they can make y'all the players' custom gear that nobody right. has. And it's going to be fire, bro. Like, it's drip. So, yeah. Let, let, let's do it different, man. Like, reach out to us. Let, let's work together for the city. That's the point of this podcast. It's all about shining the light on anybody that's doing anything in the community. So let's mm-hmm. let's cut that out, Jaguars NFL. If y'all if y'all reached out to these these pages, and I understand y'all y'all might not even see this, but I'm putting it out there on the city because it just don't make sense. Because we've supported throughout the terrible times, and now we're good. And yeah. it's like it's like that friend who gets some money, and then he stopped hanging out with you because he got he got money. He going and hanging out with other yeah. people and shit. And it's like, damn, bro, like, you wasn't my people. You was just hanging out with me because I accepted you. Yeah. And like, nah, bro, I, I just don't think that shit right for real because it's not like it's still spreading the, the name of the, of the Jaguars. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. know. But I get it. My uh, my video with Keone got a uh, copywritten uh, copyright notice because I used the footage from the game. <laughs> That's crazy. And the shit. So like, yeah, them they've been tight on shit. I'm like, who the fuck is yeah. doing all this? But what it is is I just can't monetize it, so yeah. I can't earn money off the ads mm. because of that. I'm allowed to keep it up. I just can't monetize it, which I don't. I can't monetize it anyway. So shit. Yeah. Wasn't even doing it to begin with. Get me when you can. Yeah, Get me when you can. But that's why I'm glad I'm learning it now. So whenever I am monetized, I don't make those mistakes. Because yeah, right. whenever I play like local, like we play reads, read music, don't get flagged right. whenever I go on YouTube. Yeah. Which uh, actually we need to work on that because it should. Because <laughs> basically, I guess uh, Bl- Bluff paid. would probably know this better. Whenever like you're monetizing, if you use somebody's content, do they get a portion of the monetization, uh, or you can't monetize? Okay. Yeah. You know I mean? Okay. All right. Well, even if it's only posted on SoundCloud, I don't think it'll get flagged. Okay. More. Well, we'll we'll get more on that. We'll 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 get more on that. But I I want I want to um get people's uh I want to help people get their music credentials done right. Like a lot of people just be uploading to SoundCloud and stuff because they right. just don't know how to do the other stuff. And yeah. it's so simple nowadays, bro. You pay like. Thirty dollars on DistroKid, and you can upload for the whole year. Yeah. So, I want to help people do things right for real. Is there anything um, like you know people don't know right now that you got going on? Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That was me. Uh. That we gonna cut this, but that was me right. seeing trying, if you wanted to, to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, seeing nah, if you wanted to. to. No, right, no, no, you good, right, you good, right. you good, you good, you good, you good, you good. No, you good. Okay, okay, okay. All right, restart that. Four, three, two, one. All right, we back, we back. Thank y'all for still tuning in. Um, so, Migo, are you where you envisioned you'd be at this point in your life? You're about to turn thirty. Um. Yeah, I mean, I feel pretty good, to be honest. Like, for the uh, first few years, I put, like, so much time and dedication to it because I, I knew 30 was going to come up, you know what I'm trying to say? And I wanted to make sure, like, my shit was established, if it felt like and it seems like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm 29 right now, so I've definitely been feeling like that the whole way up to now, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay. Where do you want to be in five years from now? As a as a person and as a brand, shit. I mean, as a person in five years, um, I have, I have a little. Um, I'm expecting to have a little girl, maybe. You know what I'm saying? What um, what me and my girl have been trying to like figure out the little ways of figuring out if you're having a boy or a girl. You know what I'm saying? So that's first of and foremost, to be honest. But um. Honestly, just with with me being like a, about to be a father, it's been taking my brand like and thinking elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? So 
as long as I'm as that I'm happy and I got everything going in play, you know what I'm saying? Then um I'll be happy with that. But first and foremost, you know what I'm trying to say I'm trying to just be a dad. You know what I'm trying to say like I I push my brand pretty good for the last four or five years. I'm pretty happy with that. So more than anything, I'm just trying to make sure I do that job. You know what I'm saying? More than just my brand right now. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So when do you think you will know what you're having? Um. She wants to wait till the whole gender reveal party type shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to find out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that shit going to be nuts. But if it's pink, you know what I'm saying? Whatever we do, if it's pink, I'm like, shit, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm with it all day as long as it's healthy and all that. Yeah. I'm going to definitely be happy to be a full dad in general. But I want a boy. She want a girl. So we'll see what we get. You know what I'm saying? Those are always the funnest gender reveals. As yeah. long as, you know, yeah. the both people are actually happy with yeah. either result. Right. Because, you know, you see them videos online where people lose their mind when it's not what they want it. Like a dude have a girl and he just He's like, like break down and right. like breaking stuff. You really laugh oh. for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like I know you told me that you don't care. Funny. Like it don't matter. You'd prefer a boy, but it don't matter. Yeah, it really don't matter. Yeah, that's that. That's how I feel whenever I have a kid. Like I don't. It don't matter, bro. Yeah. Like it really don't. We all we all people. Yeah, no, nah, it's just a whole blessing to have one and to be a whole father in general. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm definitely trying to make sure I do all that correct. Do you um? Do you plan on showing your seed? Like how to do what you do, or you just want to see if they show show interest in it. Um, so personally, like my first love was soccer. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm gonna definitely try to point them to that direction a little bit. If they don't want to play, they don't have to play. But whatever they want to do, you know what I'm saying? Like they would him or you know what I'm saying, girl, whatever. Um. Just whatever they want to do. Because, like, my girl, she was very, like, athletic in, like, gymnastics and shit like that. She rode, even, like, rode horses and shit like that. So we have, like, a very big, you know what I'm saying, like, window to, like, you could pick a lot of different things. You know what I'm saying? We don't all, all like, want to just, you're forced to do this. You're forced to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, if she want to play soccer, that'd be cool. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I definitely got time for that shit. I'm very good myself, so. Yeah. Yeah. And shit, all you got to do is buy a soccer ball. Yeah, and just put, spend time. Put it, yeah, exactly. Yeah, spend time. Then, a lot of it's just time. Any anything you do in life, you put time into that shit, bro. Yeah. Like you water your plants, basically. You know what I'm saying? Put time into that shit. That shit just grows, bro. And it probably comes. Grows. With, yeah, it probably come with when you watching it on TV when they're a baby. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You watching soccer and mm-hmm. they they already getting familiar with it. Yeah. Like they could really tune into it. Right, that's what my pops did with me. Like I was. Like, great, you know what I'm saying? Like, people used to come, like, travel, come see me play. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I was supposed to, like, be playing for U.S. and shit like that. But a lot of shit happens, you know what I'm saying? It's all cool, but, I mean, I, I'm definitely talented enough to, to, to show him or her, you know what I'm saying, the, the ways and roots of soccer, for sure. Okay. So, since I was asking you about, like, the future, would you ever, like, want to design, like, a soccer jersey for a team? Like maybe um, like if there's I mean like I've local... made my own soccer merch, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, like sweats, um, jackets, jerseys, uh, like the whole kit, you know what I'm trying to say in general. Um but yeah, sponsoring I've I've been trying to sponsor like one team in Nicaragua, that's where I'm from. So like one of their like local teams out there. I could just make all their product, you know what I'm trying to say? Sponsor yeah. them and then nah, they, be... they go wear it and then yeah. make some content, go create it. Yeah. So nah, that would that that would be fire. Yeah, that would be, be fire. fire. You still you have family in Nicaragua? Yeah, that's where my um mom and dad <clears throat> honestly stays. Okay. So they've been there for like three years. Okay. So how many times have you been out there? Twice. What you uh what's your favorite thing to do? Well, what ages were you when you went? Um I've been younger. First time I think I was like in middle school. Okay. And after that, I was like after high school and shit like that. But I mean, just like seeing like just the views and shit like that, just being around nice weather, nice food, just everything fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like, and just it's like it's my culture. You know what I'm saying? So I feel at home immediately. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just feel welcome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you go walk around, do anything, and you, you know you're safe. You know you're good. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Do you do you feel uh, like you appreciate? Different things about Nicaragua going as a as an adult versus when you were like an adolescent. Yeah, you just see like how poor it is. You know what I'm saying? To be a hundred percent honest, it's just like 
motherfuckers ain't got it like that, and they don't even got like the resources to even get it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like here in the U.S., we got a lot of resources to. You know what I'm saying? We want to go this direction, this direction. You know what I'm saying? There's many ways to get a bag, basically. You know what I'm saying? And once he come, he was like, "Yo, I really can't like miss my opportunity." You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like my parents moved here just so I can. You know what I'm saying? Have a better life in general. You know what I'm saying? Positive. If I want to do something positive, I could do something positive. You know what I'm saying, but obviously, you know, there's a lot of street shit in Jacksonville, so you go. There's many ways to get back. You know what I'm saying? So you got to figure out which way you're trying to get. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Um. What's your? What do you think is the staple dish in Nicaragua? Like that's um, unique. It's just to like gallo pinto is what we're like known for. You know what I'm saying? Which is like rice and beans. Okay. It's just like we have that with like a side of like everything. Like we put that with meat. They have tacos, rice and beans, but it's about rice and beans. We have like sour cream, um, like fried cheese. Um, it's honestly like a lot of like sp- like Spanish food. Like they have like fried yuca and shit like that. Um, like, like plantains, and yeah, 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 like yeah. that. But like gallo pinto is like one of our known. Right. What's the difference in that than like uh, let's say Puerto Rican rice and beans? Just a flavor, honestly, just yeah. made differently. Different beans as well. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to, like, have the beans probably. Honestly, I don't know how to make it. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's just, I think you got to have the beans soak up in a certain way and you use certain things. Like, everyone has their own sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, shit, rice and beans always slap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit slap. Okay, okay, okay. Um... So you've been to Nicaragua. Is there any other uh, international places you've been? Um, shit, I went to Mexico. Was I mean that's not too far, really. But I went to Mexico for like my uh, soccer drop. Honestly, when I had my soccer collection, okay. Me and AP went and just shot um, my soccer collection in Mexico on some like random shit. When I was like, that's when I was living in Cali. We figured it from, like, San Diego. It was, like, five hours and shit like that, four hours. And then, we're like, once you're in San Diego, the border's right there. So, we're like, yo, let's just cross the border for, like, two, three days. Get, like, vibe out, get drunk out here, and just shoot some shit. You know what I'm saying? Go sightseeing and, like, exploring and shit. So, did that and then came back. That shit was fun, though. Okay. What what part of Mexico were y'all in? Uh, Tijuana. Oh, okay. Yeah, Tijuana. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. What else did y'all do out there other than shoot? Obviously um, eat, but yeah, we ate a whole bunch of shit, and then we honestly just drove around, just seeing like the d- different beaches, seeing the whole border. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just crazy seeing it in real life. I never really seen it like that. Like that's just just wild. People even have like art on the border. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they're making like real life art on some like we can't even cross this shit. Like this shit fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> For them people, because they they just trying to have a better life. You know what I'm saying? But it's just crazy to see like just the way they like live over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to what you were saying with like Nicaragua, bro. Like we have it made here. Yeah, you go walk to Winn Dixie, Walmart, yeah. or whatever. You want any food? You can just go get it. Not even saying? just that, bro. Like, Wi Fi. Yeah. Like, you have access to AC, information. You know yeah, saying? bro. Exactly, bro. AC, you know like but, it's a it's a in like more poor countries are like limited yeah. resourced countries, yeah. like. They don't have access to info, which I feel like that's the most important thing is like the information. Because if they had access to internet, they could make money on yeah. on the internet. Like, right? They don't even have that. Just by not having that, bro. Like they asked out on that. You know what I'm saying? Here we are blessed here with COVID. Like we were able to work from home. Like people who had jobs, you could just work from home. Or like right. for you, you could still sell merch via right. online. Like right. you don't have to have an event to go to to sell merch. Like. Mm-hmm. Use that platform that it just don't have a lot of stuff that we have. Yeah, bro. Like it's it's all the little shit that seemed normal to us. Mm-hmm. Like you know, like uh, as uh, somebody who's putting content out and stuff, sometimes Instagram or Facebook or Twitter go down. You can't log in. You like what the fuck? Y'all need to get y'all shit together. And it's like, bro, you you on a free platform. <clears throat> right. You don't pay nothing for this. Right. What you mad about, bro? Should have app. We really got first world problems, bro. Yeah, like we really right. be mad, bro. Right. Motherfucker, the, the the hot water heater broke. Right. You still shower. Right. You still got water. Now, motherfuckers got cold ass water. Like, honestly, you had to, like, put water inside of a um big ass pot. You know what I'm saying? That's go, what I'm... go put it in the stove, heat that yeah. bitch up, take that bitch with you. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, got hot water. Like, fuck. Toilets. Like, yeah. people have to go shit outside in a yeah. bucket and have to go dump right. it. Like, 
We got shit made. Normal shit that we just go use it real quick. You You don't even think about that normally. But yeah, motherfuckers ain't got it like that. What is uh, something that uh, you fear? Um, shit, honestly, I don't think there's even that much stuff that I fear. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I feel like if I'm always good and I'm in good spirit, you know what I'm saying? Nothing's really going to, like, harm me. You know what I'm saying? So, nothing I, like, I feel like I can't do neither. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, no, that's too, you know what I'm saying, far-fetched, like. Oh, I mean, people have honestly asked me that a few times, and I've honestly had, like, the same answer. It's weird to say nothing, you know what I'm trying to say? But, like, fear is something that you create inside of you, you know what yeah. I'm saying? If I say I fear nothing, now my brain and myself feels like I fear nothing, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So now, after a long time of thinking and living like that, I just honestly fear nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I, I know that's an honest answer because, like, I almost feel like I've never seen you have anxiety. Like, yeah. and anxiety is literally yeah. just worrying about the future. Mm-hmm. And, like, I don't feel like I've ever seen you, like, you don't be panicking at your shows. The most I'll see is you, like, just, like, like super tapped yeah. in, like, right, right, just right. moving, bro. Way. But you're not panicking, like, yeah. like yeah. So that's good, bro. That's that's a, a good thing to happen or a good habit to have is to not be fearful of things because anything can happen at any moment. You be worried about what you think might happen. And you get hit by a train. Like, motherfucker, you, right. you don't know what the fuck gonna happen, right. bro. So why even why even pay that shit attention, bro? Just make sure you're you're doing the right thing, you're focused, and you're working towards your future. Mm-hmm. Like, that's something I, I'm focused on. I know you you ain't got no problem with that, bro, because you <laughs> you really love what you're doing, bro. Like, right. no, thank God, though, like I'm saying. Like, for the longest, bro, that was the main thing I was praying about. Like, because, like, I just ain't become this, you know what I'm saying? Like. Years ago, I used to just honestly be praying on my, like, knees, crying at times about that shit. Like, bro, make me the person I want to be, bro. I want to be this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then that shit finally happened. You know what I'm saying? Like. You manifested it. Yeah. You asked for that shit. Right. Like, yeah. And then once you see how that shit happens, you're like, yo, there's many things I can manifest now. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you start scratching them bitches off now. You know what I'm saying? Just, like. Like, meeting Pharrell was fire as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always man, more like wanted to meet him. And then I met him the craziest way. Like, I had to sneak in to a BBC drop. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, I was dripped out on some, like, they thinking I'm work there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it had, like, some, like, bape, like, top and bottom. It looked like bape, but it's not even bape. It's some old-ass shit that I had, like, years ago. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So they were like, yo, you work here? It was like, the, after the third person, I'm like, yeah, I work here, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I just snuck in backstage. And everyone's like, yo, when can we buy product, you know what I'm saying, toys, tees, hats, and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, once Pharrell get here, I don't know when he keep it coming, you know what I'm saying? Once he come here, then it'll be for sale, you know what I'm saying? Then, bro, came, I'm like, yo, what the fuck, bro, right here, you know what I'm saying? Like, took the moment in, I was like, yo, I'm gonna just go speak to bro, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, taking it in, you know what I'm saying? I already took it in, it was like two, three seconds after me, like, taking it in. So I just walked straight to bro, you know what I'm saying? Just like, and just pitched myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, my name's da 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 da, you know what I'm saying? Like. Let me, let me show you some like work and that was basically like the shoes that i was telling you that we had got the thug we just went basically did them on the adidas pair you know what i'm saying and that was the work that, that i showed him yeah you know what i'm saying but like <clears throat> but when i'm like in like backstage and like with everyone else it's like general population is like over here it's like two three hundred people you know what i'm saying it's like a whole like like gate basically i separate some and shit like that like that's the only way I could have had a one-on-one with him. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm in general population, I'm never going to, like, really, you know what I'm saying, get that time with him. Yeah. And where where was this where you met Pharrell? It was Art Basel. Oh. The uh, same uh, Art Basel where you met No, nah, that was, okay. like, three years later, okay. Okay. Um, Art Basel. Um, I went by myself this this time. Okay. And honestly, um, Tarek drove me. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to Bossy. Yeah. The homie he drove me all the way down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Bluff. Bluff just dropped a single with Bossy. Oh fire. Yeah. Oh fire. So Hell we, yeah. We we all Top we two. all intertwine. Yeah. Yes sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes sir. That's fire. That's but what, yeah. So he was going to Basel as well because he had a lot of people he had to go meet, talk to, and shit like that. He had a good one. I had a good one. She was fire. Yeah. 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 I was supposed to go to uh, Art Basel this year with uh, with Migo, but my job and shit got in the way. No. <laughs> what happened? Uh, my car. My car had fucked up. Yeah. My car my car was evil to me for a good, like, two or three months. 
Yeah. Shit, matter of fact, the last time I had to take it to the shop, shout out to JJ's, local car shop. They done been voted the best auto shop a bunch of times, but Migo went with me and uh, drove my uh, shit back. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, shit, M- Migo, Migo always a part of my uh, my evolution, <laughs> man. We really no, I just here. naturally have his rush shit hard. For sure, for sure. Um, is there anything that you want to plug in or anything that you want to talk about that we haven't covered? Um, no, I feel like everyone, everything's been pretty much covered, but, um, next, next, uh, like next episode, I want to do one with like gang, you know what I'm saying? Cause I got a lot of people inside force up. So I just want to like give dumb people love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for show, sure. Show them, even though they they are known and like, I do show them, you know what I'm saying? But I want them to like even get more exposure, you know what I'm saying? Like get even more out there cause the, the boys go crazy, like. But I'm basically like I build a team, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like a whole group of us. But so this episode, I'll title it with your your real name, and I'll put Savage at Peace in the parentheses. Yeah, and then that episode will be the Savage at Peace episode. Yeah, bet, bet. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's a bet. That's a bet. All right, well, thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all make sure y'all follow everybody that we drop in this episode. The uh, information will be in the description on the YouTube. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all next time.